Good morning, Jack. Good morning. Um, how's your uh, New Year going? Very good. Very good. Any resolutions? I started some New Year's resolutions last year that lasted for about the month of January and a little bit more beyond that, but then kind of fizzled off. And I'm restarting those this year with more dedication and focus to achieving them. So a few resolutions that I've had both years is to improve in fitness. I had this amazing system last year where I'd run 10 minutes a day per day, maybe four or five days in a week. And then each week I would increase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, by one minute. Mm -hmm. So the difference between 10 minutes and 11 minutes is not like nothing. You're not gonna feel it. But in four weeks, where are you gonna be? It'll be at 14 True. minutes. Yeah. In eight weeks, it'll be at 18 minutes. Yeah. And in 52 weeks, if you keep going up minute by minute, you're gonna be in another world. True. So yeah. I didn't maintain it though, because I, you know, I was going through personal things. Life gets in the way, so they say. Um, although I think you should always figure out how to work life into everything you're doing. Uh, the way I'm doing it differently this year is that I have a strict Google Doc that I have with my friend. He's my accountability buddy, which is accountability buddy for short. And um, what he does is he makes sure that I adhere to my goals. And if I don't, I need to pay him $100 per infraction. And we have a two-way system. So he's on the other side of another Google Doc that he has, and we check up on each other and make sure that we're achieving our goals. Um, if anyone wants to set this up for themselves, whether it's through a Google Doc or through a, a, a oral agreement or whatever, they should. Because having a person there to help you achieve goals is important. Doing anything alone is very difficult. But when you have a strict set of rules that you're going to follow, rules that are, as they say, smart goals, which I believe are specific, measurable, attainable, R and T stand for something else. You know, you want you want to have something that you can actually do, something that's achievable and that you can slowly increment your way up through. So we'll see where I am in a few months, but I don't intend on burning myself out by doing too much running. So I do ten minutes per day eleven minutes per day now, four days a week. We'll see where I am in a few weeks. But I will continue to increment it up in a good ways. Another thing I'm working on is singing training. So my first week I was doing 15 minutes a day. This week I'm doing 60 minutes a day, just scales and singing training. That's, that sounds like a good idea and like you said you're not gonna feel this small increment but over a long period of time you're gonna feel the integration of all these days and all these small increments that'll lead up to something big. <clears throat> yes, um, I'm also writing a book called The Power of You and it started uh, as an idea last year, and I'd haphazardly write here and there, but now I'm taking it seriously. And so I'd say that 2018 was in a way a training ground in actually having New Year's resolution type goals or solid goals, trying to do it, doing it as much as I can, failing quite a bit because it's very difficult to maintain these things. The reason the gym memberships plummet at the end of January, the reason people forget, forget about their goals 30 days in, is because it's hard. 